What's good, everybody? Glitch Brothers One Three here. Hey, yo, we got some Kendrick Lamar today. Untitled Will Five. What what is this? September twenty first, twenty fourteen. If I'm not mistaken, this whole project, the whole Untitled on Master thing, it's obvi it's obviously like like songs that Kendrick had in the vault over the years, up to twenty sixteen, I believe. Up to twenty sixteen. Is when he dropped this album, which is after it's a pimp and butterfly, but before the damn album. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Kendrick Lamar personally sent some of these tracks to like LeBron James or the the entire project, and then he told him he went on his social media and then said, "Yo, you need to release this," and so they did. Like not like shortly after, you know. So, um, but this was, I don't even remember when this was suggested, man. It was, it was a long time ago. And I never got to it. And I don't know why exactly. I think maybe because it wasn't even on a Kendrick Lamar reaction. I think it was on somebody else's reaction. So, but we finna check this out. I've been meeting and listening to more Kendrick Lamar and react to more Kendrick Lamar. So I'm gonna need you guys help in the comment section and give me some more suggestions. I wanna listen to Pimple Butterfly on my own. So I would like, if y'all could, I would like some suggestions from that album. Other than that, let's get into it. So this was before. So this was before he released a Pimp a Butterfly, but after Good Kid, Mad City. Alright, so uh, I pause the recording because I don't want to get copyright claims. We're already 48 seconds in and there hasn't actually been a single word spoken yet. But it is a 5 minute, like almost 6 minute long track so I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. But I just wanted to give y'all an update, you know, because in case y'all saw that weird cut. I think he's about to start here in a bit. said you bumped your head and bled the flow Jumped into a pit of flames and burned to coal Drowned inside the lake outside they flow This is definitely... I don't even know if this would be considered Dr. Dre production right here. This doesn't sound like Dr. Dre's like type of like producing right here but already from the start we this is like this is like more like it sounds like, like very like classical like jazz music kind of you know and the and the beautiful singing coming in the track so and uh, and because of the way Kendrick likes like builds his projects up it sticks to like a, a conceptual like theme throughout all of them there's a reason he probably scrapped this, you know? Because it was probably just a song and it didn't really fit with what he wanted to do as an artist for his next project. So, let's see, let's hear though. It should be set on in a minute. Kendrick's voice like softly building up. Where is he going with where is he going with this? I 
I got 100 on my dash, got 200 in my trunk. Name in the grab bags, put my Bible in the trunk. Tack a vodka on the top of my binocular, I'm drunk. How can I can make them popular? Pop them when I want. See, I'm living with. You hear the hunger in his voice? Do you hear the aggression in his voice? He's. Hold up, hold up. I got 100 on my dash, got 200 in my trunk. Name in the grab. 100 on my dash, 200 in my trunk. Bags, put my Bible in the trunk. Tack a vodka on the top of my binocular. I'm drunk. How can I can make them popular? Pop them when I want. See, I'm living with anxiety, ducking the sobriety. Fuck. See, I'm living with sobriety, ducking from society. Is this like him, like, is this like, and he's talking about Bible too, is this kind of like him struggling to stay sober and then, like, kind of asking God for, like, forgiveness? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know yet. But that definitely is Kendrick. Put my Bible in the trunk, tack a vodka on the top of my binocular, I'm drunk. He was talking about vodka too, so yeah, he, maybe he's talking about, like, his old struggles to stay sober. Even though I didn't know, I thought Kendrick wasn't uh, a drinker. You know, if anything, swimming pools I thought would like show that he's not that he is sober. You know, but maybe he's struggling to stay sober. I don't, I don't know yet. Ducking the sobriety, fucking up the system. I ain't fucking with society. Justice ain't free, therefore justice ain't me. So I justify his name on the bitch you wear. Why you wanna see a good man with a broken heart? Once upon a time, I used to go to church and talk to God. Now I'm thinking to myself, I don't dip this all I got. Now I'm drinking. I used to go to church and talk to God. This really does sound like something from the damn album though. The time I used to go to church and talk to God Now I'm thinking to myself I don't dip this all I got Now I'm drinking by myself At the intersection parked Watch you when you walk inside your house You threw your briefcase alone the couch I plan on creeping through your fucking door And blowing out Every piece of your brain Till your son jumped in your arm Cut on the engine and sped off in the rain I'm gone Somebody Ooh. Talking about murder and like killing somebody and then seeing the son jump into the dead mother's arms. What? What is happening? I'm so lost. I'm blowing out every piece of your brain till your son jumped in your arm, cut on the engine and sped off in the rain. I'm gone. Somebody said you bumped your head and bled the flow. Jumped into a pit of flames and burned to coal. Drowned inside the lake outside. Away you flow. So if I were to take everything that I just heard, it sounds like Kendrick at this time, he started drinking again because of society kind of like driving him crazy, you know, and some, I don't get, I don't, and it, and it just drives him to the point where he kills like some woman's, some woman and her son just witnesses it, but then he drives off. Was there issues between Kendrick and his wife? I, I know he has to be married. He has to be married. Or at least, like... Man, I don't know. Man, I should have I should have read on this. I should have read the story behind this one. And that means the world to me. 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 He drove alone with a bottle of his own, gripping the handle. 
handle it off any I'm trying to dismantle These wicked ways I've engaged in such a gamble Cause I can speak the truth and I know the world when I Alright, yeah, they're talking about They're talking about alcoholics Like, alcohol driving them to do stupid things Basically Who is this though? I didn't uh, There's a feature on this Whipping the handle Little it off any I'm trying to dismantle These wicked ways I've engaged in such a gamble Cause I can speak the truth And I know the world when I rap away That's a bit ambitious Maybe I'm tripping Maybe I'm crazy Maybe I exist in a different dimension Not to mention when I close my eyes I see the distance It's such a scary sight So I rarely go to sleep at night I watch the sun rise Then I watch the sun fall He said it's such a scary sight That I barely go to sleep at night Yeah, so basically him and whoever this feature is is talking about like alcoholic struggles, you know. Which Kendrick covered on swimming pools, but that wasn't that wasn't really like he was talking about how alcohol has like had effects on him and his like family in the past, but I mean this is just like this is just basically alcohol like and he was Kendrick was taking it because he said society was like he he, he was he was being driven insane kind of by like society you know so and it sounds like whoever this is like they can relate too. Stay the son of God and still don't recognize my flaws. I guess I'm lost the cost of being successful. Stay the son of God and don't even recognize my flaws. Oh my God, dang, bro. When you really think about it, though, like, 2014. This would have, yeah, this would have not fit on Good Kid Mad City or To Pimple Butterfly. So, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense why this one was, like, kind of locked in the vault, you know? I rise, then I watch the sun fall. Stay the son of God and still don't recognize my flaws. I guess I'm lost. The cost of being successful is equal to being neglectful. I pray my experience helps you. This, this, the, how did he put that? The cost of being successful is equal to being neglectful. The cost of being successful is the same to being neglectful. Otherwise, you you really like. Like that's how like every artist puts it. Every artist says they they do they start off to like to get to where to a better place than when they were born, you know? To get out of where they were. But then they realize they have just as many problems as being a celebrity like status than when they were they had nothing, you know? That's basically what he's saying right there. And he's like and he's just about to say, I hope my story help, like help guides you, you know? My experience helps you As for me, I'm trying to sort it out Searching for loopholes in my bruised soul But who knows? I just need a little space to breathe I know perception is key, so I am king I know perception is key, key but so I am king Who is this feature? Who is this feature? This is that punch guy again yeah, this is... Wait, hold on. Punch. J-Rock. Well, not... Okay, so yeah, this is Punch and J-Rock. This isn't, um... This isn't, like, um... That one group that Kendrick's part of. So I believe we're about to get J-Rock on this next verse coming up. <laughs> The other side is never mortified by mortal mind. The borderline between insanity is by the time I fall behind my skeleton. The borderline between between sanity is father time. The 
other side is never mortified by mortal mind The borderline between insanity is by the time I fall behind my skeleton, they tell me that I'm blind I know that Ooh. I'm intelligence, my confidence just died Caught per diem, seize the day I can't compromise A tapeworm couldn't cure this gluttonous appetite A couple trinkets, they seeing me as I'm pacified But couldn't fathom the meaning of seeing sacrifice I'm passing lives on the daily, maybe I'm losing faith Genesism and capitalism just made me hate Correction those in Genesism and capitalism just made me hate It's never, it's never, it's never a straight message with Kendrick, man. It never is, man. And that's why his fans love him. And that's why I love him. He's too real in a way that only the most intellectual will understand. Private prisons gave me a date. Professional dream killers, reason why I'm awake. And sleepwalking, I'm street stalking, I'm out of place. Professional dream killers is the reason why I'm awake? Oh my god. Bars are so insane, man. They're so insane. Say these private prisons gave me a date. Professional dream killers, reason why I'm awake. And sleepwalking, I'm street stalking, I'm out of place. Reinforcing this heat barking, these are the breaks. Before I blink, do I see me before them pearly gates? Or oh, this is just a mirage or a facade. Wait. It's, it's never it's never simple with Kendrick man it's never simple with him <sighs> holy crap that's like the second longest song in this whole project okay so this really wouldn't be considered an album right this would be more considered like an EP because it's like only 8 tracks right I thought there was more than that honestly this is the album that most people tend to forget though. Like a lot of like a lot of people forget that Kendrick made this one. They just go straight like they consider the trilogy Good Kid Mad City, Pimp a Butterfly, damn, you know? Which when you really think about it, he probably did like he probably did drop this one like out of nowhere. This was probably like a surprise like drop, you know. So but we still wait we still waiting to see what you do, Kendrick. You get like the last thing we got from you was the Busta Rhymes feature. That was he. That was he. So, but thank you guys so much for watching. You guys enjoy. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Give me more Kendrick Lamar suggestions in the comment section down below. But I'm going, y'all.